So we're here to solve this Japanese sums puzzle by Jin Huan themed around magic squares. We've got a three by three magic square and both the row and column clues. With Japanese sums, I tend to focus on the, the total sum of the grid. One to nine is 45. And so I'm looking for really big clues. And both of this top row, which is 43, stands out. This has to be all the digits but two. This bottom row of 44, all the digits but one look pretty interesting. The grid is nine cells wide, so if this has eight digits and one blackened square within it, that is to say it's missing the digit one, which is replaced by a blackened square, that means the left side and the right side all have to be starting these sums. 29 is at least four cells long, 15 is at least two cells long, so you get the start. The digit one isn't in this row, but if I used a cell at the bottom of this uh, column, it would be the digit one, so this has to be the shaded cell and the rest are undone. So this is one break in. On the top, the 10 has to take at least two from the left. The 33 has to take at least five from the right. Again, we're only missing the digit two in this row. Eight digits are used. If I took this cell, it must be the digit two because of the column clue above. So I can't take the cell. So this fills in quickly. So both the top and bottom rows look like they interact with this magic square clue to be the first things the author wanted to see us do here. With those extremes marked in, we get a lot of places we can mark in digits. So for instance, the 12 from the top needs at least three, two cells. The 20 from below needs at least three. 25 needs at least four. 16 needs at least two. 20 needs at least three. 17, two. 14 needs two. Now coming from the left, 27 needs at least four. 25 needs at least four. I think that's a lot of what we can mark right now. Um, one thing it's now done is it's marked some cells right near this two clue, and those will have to actually be a singleton two surrounded by things. And even in this column, we've also marked a singleton where the two goes, which will have to be surrounded by shaded cells. Uh, we just marked in uh, shaded cells here and here. Uh, this, this will be part of the 10 and may not be able to reach all the way over here, but that looks harder to use and say this 12, 7, 20. Where does this 7 sum sit? This will be the 12, this will be the 20, so this is 7 on its own. And that will complete this clue from the left. Uh, does that give us more here even about some of these things? Well, one thing we have as possible use is this singleton 4. And we haven't looked at this spot yet, but a 4 is sometimes able to be one plus three, but if one plus three is used, how do we get to a three? The three on its own is taken, one plus two no longer has a one for it. So this is four on its own. And if that's four on its own, then the set of remaining values in these cells is five, seven, eight, nine, and over here is one, three, six. One, three, six with a 25 sum up above will be six with eight, nine. So we clear some of this out. We may want to ask, can nine be on its own? And uh, I think a way to do that is now going to be looking at this row. At the start of this puzzle, this row was a 42. And 42 could be missing 1 and 2, or just the digit 3. 2 is now placed in this row. So this is another row we could have shaded in blue as a place where we're only missing one digit. And we've marked one, un, uh, one shaded cell. So everything else has to be a digit containing cell to have eight digits in this row. So this can't be a 9 on its own. So the other things that are left for it would be five, seven, eight. Eight would put in a one, but there has to be a one on its own in this column. Seven would force a two, but seven's already, uh, two's already there. So this is a five. It's not five with one and three, because one's on its own. So this is five plus four. And marking in five plus four, now this sum, this five on its own, will be two plus three. And that could sit here or here, but the cell will always be used and be a two, three and a one is at the bottom of this uh, space somewhere. How does this two, three then work with this row clue is a good question to ask. If this is part of the five, then the five is two plus three, but then how do we get a single three also in this row? It can't be one, two, or three on its own anymore. So this two, three is part of this three, and it can be two if one or three on its own, but one situation is none of these cells on the right are used, and another is that this has to be a single digit five so that this can be part of the three clue and how it gets spaced. That now also, with this shaded cell, is drawing my attention back to this column. So we have a six to place at the bottom. Does it use all three of these cells? If it did, it would be one plus two plus three, but two's already in the column. So this is a six on its own, which means this is a seven on its own or part of a two digit sum, but the cell isn't used. 
That's now making this 294 row look pretty cramped, so let's think about that. If this cell is part of the 9, it could be a, a 3, and it has to be a 3. Coming over here, this is going to be part of this sum here, and this could be a 1. So there's no way these two digits on their own add up to 9. So there's some form where all three of these, just these two or just this one, are part of this 9 sum. But this digit must be taken to get a value as large as 9, which means this is shaded, this is unshaded, this is a 4. The 4 needs to be part of a larger sum. So that's going to be a big 14 up top. It means we need two cells for a 13. Get a single cell for a 9. So we've got like five, seven, eight is the options down here, and this will be two, three, four. Got a two in this cell. Um, this 27, 12 will need to have at least this cell taken to work out. I'm trying to see if there's more we can do up here. Actually, this top space is now seven, eight, nine, but this cell is seven or eight. And to make this a valid sum, 8 and 4 is 12 with 2 left over. That's not going to work, but 7 with 1 and 2 is the way that goes. So this resolves in this way. That actually puts this as a 7, 9 coming across to get to a, a sum of 17. It means 8 is here, 9 is below. The digits left over then for this row will be uh, 5 and 6. Both of those will require us to shade, uh, sort of put a digit into this cell to make this work. The 5 here actually means this is a 5, this is a 6. If this is 5, 1, it puts a 6 here. If, if it's uh, 3, 5, it puts a 4 here. That puts a 1, 3 into this cell. So we're going to need to think about how these work. One thing is it's going to eliminate a 3 from this option, but I think key step's going to be coming across. So this will be 8, 9, uh, and this cell will be a 3, or this will be 7, 9, and this will be a 4. So on the left here, where we have 493 as an option, that would eliminate all the values for the cell. So this is not 493, this is 691, which puts in a 3, which puts in a 1. This now can't be a 2, because it's never going to get up to 20. And if it's a 4, it would leave behind 9, 7. This has to be 8 and 9 with a 3. It means this is a 4, which means this is a 2. Uh, we now have to consider this 13 sum. How do we get all the way to 13? Well, it could take, if it took all of these cells, it would need to put a 4 and a 1 and an 8. That could be okay. But is a 9 ever in the cell? If a 9 is here, it's not 4 on its own. It's 1 with 3. But 1 and 3 are above in this column and it can't take another. So this is always 8 and 9. And now the question is, is this uh, 5 on its own or 1, 4? And I don't think I have enough in the grid to eliminate those choices yet. So we're going to have to come back to that. Um, the 12 from the right, though, needs to take another cell. And so maybe a thing to think about is how do we get um, some of these other values. So we, now I've actually finished the left here. So this 10 can't be done in two cells. It takes another cell here, but it can no longer be in four cells because the one is used. So this will have to be 3, 5, and that means this is 8, 9. With this packing, uh, that removes the 8 option from this cell. 5, 7 can't be here, so this is always 8, 5, 7 there. So this will take at least one more cell. We have to get a valid set of values for a 13, and with a 7 up above, this looks like this is just 5 and 8. And so a question will be, how do we get this 6, 1, 8 row, which I haven't really looked at, to work out? And probably ways to work through it are going to be to kind of chip into this space like this. So this cell I said had to be part of the 9. We actually now have a 9 up above, so this will always have to take at least one more cell. That means this is going to be part of this 3. This is 3 on its own, or it's a digit 1, and if it's a digit 1, it puts a 2 here. But 2 is not going to work with this to get a valid set for this clue of 3. So this is 3, this is nothing, this is 3. So shade this in. This needs to be 3, 2 with 1, and we'll have to come this way. We still somehow need to get a 1 into this row on its own, and this 2 will have to be part of a big sum. So it's a part of the 6. This cell on its own is a 1. That means this is 8, 5 as so. Uh, the only way to get 6 is still using remaining cells is with that to be a 4 and everything else to be shaded. That puts a 3 down here. It means 27 is 9. 
plus 8 plus 7 plus 3. 7 has to go here to get this to be 16. This is a 5. That finishes this. We're going to have a 12 in 4 cells with 2, 3, 6 being the remaining digits. This is the only spot for a 3. So this is 5, 2, 6. Um, notice 6 is going to break this column clue for the 8. So this will be a 2. This will be a 6. That means this is a 5 with a 1. Leaves a 7. That means this whole stretch is 12 with 2 and 4 to go in. This sum requires this to be a 4, this to be a 2, and the last value to work with the sums is that 6. So you got all the way around this grid a really creative puzzle. I think the seeds at the start with this lowest row and top row and how they intersect with the magic square were really, really elegant starts. But you'd see as we worked through the puzzle, these middle sections with the remaining magic square clues are very, very tough. And there are probably different ways to work into the center, but I think this 2-3 split for the five and how that forces different constraints in these cells, mark some of these cells was my way to chip away through it. So hope you persisted through this challenging puzzle. I, I think we're getting to the end of the last days of summer week, but this is a really, really great workout to close out this season with some good arithmetic throughout. So thanks Jin Hu Long for the puzzle and we'll see you again soon.